Hey, YouTube fan! Welcome back to WorthCoin's channel. Today, we have an exciting topic lined up for you, the 1938 penny coin. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating history and current value of this iconic coin. So, if you're curious to learn more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our coin-related content. Penny, 1938. Coin from United Kingdom. Detailed information. Before we delve into the specifics of the 1938 penny, let's set the stage. The year 1938 was a time of great change and uncertainty around the world. The world was still recovering from the Great Depression, and tensions were rising in Europe as World War I loomed on the horizon. Now, let's take a closer look at the design of the 1938 penny. This coin features the profile of King George V on the obverse side, and the reverse showcases a beautiful depiction of a kangaroo in motion. The kangaroo design was quite fitting for Australia, as it's a symbol often associated with the country. The value of any coin is influenced by various factors, and rarity is certainly one of them. The 1938 penny holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its limited mintage. Only a few were produced due to the Great Depression's impact on the economy. When it comes to evaluating the coin's value, its condition plays a crucial role. A well-preserved coin with minimal wear and great visual appeal will fetch a higher price in the market. Coin collecting is full of surprises, and the 1938 penny is no exception. There are a few variations and errors that make certain coins even more sought after. For instance, some pennies have slight variations in the position of the kangaroo's tail or the spacing between letters. These unique attributes can significantly impact their value. If you're lucky enough to own a 1938 penny, you might be wondering about its potential value. Several factors come into play, such as its rarity, condition, and any specific variations. To get an accurate estimate, it's advisable to consult a professional coin appraiser or refer to reputable coin pricing guides. As with many collectibles, the value of the 1938 penny can fluctuate over time. If you're considering investing in coins, especially vintage ones like the 1938 penny, it's crucial to stay informed about market trends. Coins can be both a fascinating hobby and a potentially rewarding investment. And there you have it. The captivating tale of the 1938 penny coin. Its historical significance, unique design, and rarity make it a true gem in the world of numismatics. Whether you're a collector or just intrigued by history, this coin is a window into the past and a piece of art that carries a story. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Until next time, keep exploring and discovering the treasures of our past. The denomination continues the tradition of earlier penny coins of Great Britain, which also featured the figure of Britannia. The bronze coins of these specifications replaced the larger copper pennies, which were issued until 1860s. The new, more durable alloy was composed of 95 parts of copper, 4 of tin, and 1 of zinc. Between 1860 and 1895, the penny had the Third Britannia design on the reverse and Queen Victoria's bunhead effigy. In 1895, the reverse was updated to this Fourth Britannia design, which is a simplified version of the earlier design by Leonard Charles Wyon and the obverse to the Queen's veiled head portrait. Unlike the smaller denominations, which were redesigned for the new coinage of King George V in 1937, See, the ship half penny and the wren farthing. The penny did not get a new design and retained the classic Britannia reverse until the end. During the reign of King George V, the mint had issues with the monarch's portrait by Sir Bertram McKennell. Many of the bronze blanks used for the coins were produced by private firms in Birmingham. A great deal of difficulty was encountered in striking coins of this design. The high-relief portrait caused a displacement of metal called ghosting that showed through on the reverse side as an incuse outline of the head. A new bronze alloy was adopted in 1923 in an effort to remedy the situation. It consisted of 95.5% copper, 3% tin and 1.5% din, and 1.5% zinc. This alloy has a more golden tint than the former one. It lessened the hardness enabling the coins to be more easily struck and lengthened the life of the dies. 
During 1925, the features of the design were slightly modified to further help eliminate the ghosting, but this fault was not fully corrected until 1928 when a new design with a smaller head was introduced. The coins with the modified effigy from late 1925 and thereafter all have the designer's initials in small letters without periods. One penny coins issued in 1938 remained in circulation for 33 years until Decimal Day, 15 February 1970, one when the old currency was demonetized and the decimal pound sterling was introduced with a new decimal penny replacing these old coins. Remember, every coin has a story to tell. Stay curious and keep those pockets jingling with history. See you in the next video.